abandon your family for Smash. All right, so we are in fact getting the Falco versus Bowser. Now, I feel like for this, those counterattacks are going to be a lot more relevant because Falco is a character that, in general, loves to combo. His combo game is absurd. Uh, but there are a lot of tight windows in the middle of it where if Evil plays his cards right, he can undo you know, all of the damage by hitting back twice as hard. And right now, Evil is doing a fantastic job here. Oh. And it's actually Steelix who's been having to do counter hits because, like, while I was saying Bowser's neutral maybe isn't the greatest, it's been, uh, it's been Evil who's been dictating a lot of the neutral. And ironically enough, Steelix, the one who has to get those counter attacks to uh, get his damage in. Oh, wow, and the parry on the last hit. That, to me, shows matchup knowledge. To know the timing of that last forward air and to know that the full, that the side B was the answer. It's beautiful stuff from Evil. Uh, it's going to be a, quite a mountain for Steelix to come back on this. But then again, one of the big parts of Falco is his combo, like his kill confirms. That's a no-jump Bowser off stage. Really good there, recognizing that he was still in the lag from the air dodge and just punishes with that forward air. Okay. Ah, that was such slick movement. And how much damage did that do? Even though I know that Bowser's uh, flame breath is uh, just has uh, so much damage behind it, I can't... Oh, my sweet... I can't actually dwell on anything for too long because the counter hits from everybody. He's going to be surviving, but it's not enough. Steelix with a triple down air. Beautiful stuff as he's now completely in the driver's seat here. 33% on evil, and that is climbing. He started off this set so well, but oh, and that's going to be dead. Oh, he lives! Wow, Evil probably didn't think he was going to make it back from that. Otherwise, that was, he probably could have edgeguarded it. That's a no-jump Bowser, and no Legend of its ability means he has to recover high. Steelix, just after he got that one stock, that one crazy combo, he was just, Oh man, he was feeling himself for the rest of that game. Evil needs to shake it off because he was playing. He was playing really well to start off that game. I mean, it all started with his one dash attack at the very beginning, and he was able to do damage and consistently win the neutral. But you know, when it just happens that when some when your opponent pulls off some crazy combo to get yourself back in the game to shake it off, it's just it can be so hard. All right, it seems that we're going to get Unova as the counter pick. Now, I'm wondering what exactly the thought process, uh, process is here. Uh, those sides would give Steelix a wall jump, which situational at best. It could be a comfort thing. I do think that Koopa Claw is particularly effective if you can land it on the uh, those little platforms on this stage. But... <laughs> Oh man, look at this opening, all of the damage that's being dealt. Ooh! Ah, oh, he went for super hard commitment, punishing that, trying to get that forward smash. And it meant that, because if you notice, he did all of these jabs, and Bowser jab, definitely his least damaging move. I mean, only 46%, and he's dead. All right, Evil taking a little bit of time on that top platform, on the uh, Halo, rather, realizing that he needs to get something really started because there has just been so much momentum. Steelix has taken three stocks unanswered if you consider the last game as well. And that might end up being four because it's even, it just feels like, despite the fact that Steelix is at 89%, he's living. Like, he is still in control to the point where I could see him taking this stock even now. Ooh, oh, he saves him. But will he end up not mattering? He's, I love that, just able to convert all of this damage. Nonetheless, oh, that Firebird might be really regrettable. He has, oh, this guy's just been going back and forth. That Koopa Claw should finish it though. It does, good to guy, but he dies off the top. And now Evil is not in an unwinnable position. We have to remember, the insanity that is Ultimate Bowser. 
All right, great job. That up smash gonna connect, meaning that Steelix is now comfortably an entire stock ahead. But <laughs> the funny thing is, is that as long as Bowser is alive, people can still win this game. Oh. Steelix's combos have been so good this entire set. And yeah, Bowser might be an easy character in general to combo, but he's been creative with how he does it. Definitely connecting moves in a way that you normally wouldn't see. Falco, I feel like, is one of those characters where you can be creative in how to actually confirm things. Oh, that... I feel like he could have gotten some actual guaranteed, like an up air or something, but... Had to go for a harder punish, and that might end up being a regrettable decision. 129% on Bowser. Even though you're at 12, this is scary. He misses the tech. A forward tilt. That's 41% on him right now. Down smash is not enough to do it. Bowser's just that big. Oh, the single trade on the forward air. Such smart edge guarding from Steelix. He's going to be taking the set 2-0 and doing a lot of flashy things in the meantime. All right, thank you all for tuning in. Actually, I feel like that uh, that triple down air combo, that's, that might end up on one of those compilations, you know. Dragon Smash, GR Smash. <laughs>